Diane, I'm listening to a podcast, Black Lodge Trivia Night. I've never heard so many game aspirations in my life. To cope with adverse weather, I, ooh, I don't have weather tables. I should get weather tables from somewhere. I don't believe, I guess what I could do is like, does the weather turn bad and it's middling? Uh, so I rolled a five, which means if it were certain or likely it'd be yes, but that means the weather stays the same, but there are games out there with some good weather tables. You know, what game has a really good weather table in its random tables is Harn master by Columbia games. I ran a, uh, I ran a mini, I ran an adventure of that. It sort of fizzled out sadly because I was really enjoying the world the setting and the rules, but yeah, they're random. They have this whole thing about, um, Oh, I should incorporate that. I should really bring that in, you know, depending on like time of the year and like what the previous weather was, it's, it's, it sounds like it's involved, but it's not, it's just a quick couple of rolls and, and you've got like some real, some real weather patterns. Oh, I need to get that. Okay. <laughs> I need to write that down because I'm going to forget where, where's my, you should keep a notepad, obviously, like most people nearby to jot stuff down. But let me see. Get Harn weather into <laughs> everything because it's good. For any fantasy game, it's good. Especially, yeah, if you need a hex crawl weather system. I think Mithras, I wonder if Mithras has anything. They have Monster Island, which has their hex crawl rules. wonder if something in there. I've got... um. Wolves of God, which is by, um, oh man, this guy who makes like worlds without number, Kevin Crawford. Uh, I don't know if I've got hard copies of his worlds without number and his cities without number. So sci-fi cyberpunk. I think I lost whatever the fantasy one was in a, in my, when I was flooded. So I think I only have that in PDF. But I'm sure that's got like tons of, but Wolves of God, I'm sure, might have some tables in there as well. Doesn't matter. Harn. Uh, just a quick tangent. You should look at Harn. If you want, <laughs> I'm going to cough here for a second. Harn, oh man. Harn is one of the most fully realized, fleshed out fantasy settings. I've encountered. I know Matt talks a lot about uh, Galarian and um, and what they do with Pathfinder. It's which I will admit is is really well developed and nuts. Just how much is out there. Harn is, if only it's because it's been around since like the early '80s or something. There's just so much out there for it. Uh, it's really such a good good, good, good setting. And even though it might be daunting and there's a lot of detail, the world itself can be system agnostic. You don't need to use all the detail, but if you want the detail, there's so much. 